Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Today, I'm going to explore the last of the Sea Shrine and take on the Fiend of Water, so let's go. Okay, here's a new enemy, Ghost. They have a lot of HP, and they can really hurt you with their physical attacks, so you want to take them out as quickly as possible. Let's use Fire 3 to make sure this goes as smoothly as possible. That's not bad. That is bad. I'm probably going to take a minute to heal outside of the battle just to make sure I'm okay, so, um, yeah. There we go. Needed that earlier, but whatever. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, let's keep going up there. Okay, this chest is guarded on both sides. Uh, I'm just trying to see what it is here. Uh, oh yeah, it's guarded by uh, some gray sharks and wizard sahajans from the left, or um, they got some lobster, sea trolls, and sea snakes from the bottom. I'd recommend fighting the gray sharks so you avoid getting poisoned by the lobsters. That's just me, so I'm gonna take care of that and be right back. Okay, so this chest contains a light axe. Uh, the knight should automatically get that, yeah. Give it to him because he has nothing better to do against undead monsters. I'd rather have him do that against those ghosts. So, uh, obviously the white wizard and red wizard already have something useful to do against those undead monsters. So let's keep going to the right now. Okay, so this is the last treasure room. Let's see what we got here. We got some gold. The ribbon, awesome, and some more gold. I'm gonna give the ribbon to the uh, red wizard since he's sort of your secondary healer. And you really want to keep your healers in good shape, and and he has less HP too, so you want to make sure he doesn't take as much damage. Whereas the master, he can afford to take some more damage for now. So uh, yeah, we're all set here. Uh, now if I take one more step to the right, I'm gonna run into some gray sharks and wizard sahajans, so I'm gonna take care of them and be right back. Okay, and this just contains a lot more gold, so can I get out this way? No, nope. I'm going to have to fight him again now. Be right back. Alright, well that's all the treasure, so now let's head straight for Kraken. Uh, upper left corner for the stairs. Man, I hate those ghosts. Almost makes me wish I had harm 3 or harm 4, but no, no, I can't. I can't do it. So... Okay, um, now I'm just going to head straight for Kraken, so let's see, uh, left. Then, up, I think. Yeah, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, don't be afraid to have your White Wizard use his level 5 spell charges to heal your party. You really don't, um, need them for life, and you got Cure 4 now to handle the emergencies, so really I'm, I'm not too worried about saving my level 5 spell charges, so... Well, let's just keep on moving then. There it is. Got to get in that big room here. Okay, now you just want to go up, right, up, left, and down to the wall. And that should lead you to a, a door that will take you out the other side. So. Almost there. Okay, well, we've made it to the Fiend of Water. I'm going to take a moment to uh, heal everyone up to their maximum HP, and I, I will uh, be right back for you guys. Okay, we're back. Everyone's at their uh, full health, so uh, let's do it. The fiend's ball is shattered, evaporating all the water. Ho, ho, ho! How foolhardy to dare challenge me, Kraken, the fiend of water! 
Okay, uh, generally same strategy as the remainder of the, uh, fights with the fiends, uh, just, uh, uh, you know, I think your melee fighters have, uh, your red wizard cast fast on them, and, uh, during the first round you might as well use the Zeus gauntlets, I mean, he's somewhat weak to lightning, so might as well get, give it a shot. He's got about, uh, 800 HP, well, exactly 800 HP, so it should, uh, be okay. Fortunately, about 25% of the time, he'll use ink, which does nothing. So, I'm not going to worry about that. The only thing you really got to worry about is that, uh, because, well, being an octopus, he has eight tentacles. He can hit you eight times per, for every round. So, um, he can have some very tough physical attacks, sometimes enough to kill uh, your wizards, too. So, uh, you got to be real careful for that. But not much you can really do about it, though. So... Now uh, we've got uh, both of those guys fasted, so uh, we should be uh, in pretty good shape. Boy, I'm pretty lucky there. Inked twice in the first two rounds. That's pretty good. Yeah, we should get him this round. Might as well. I don't think it's going to last another round, but you never know. Alright. We got him. A lot of experience, so let's uh, restore light to the water orb. Yay! Let's get out of here. Okay, now uh, we want to use the inn first, but also we want to talk to the brother of Dr. Oon because now we have uh, the slab. Let's see what uh, he has to say about that. Sure to my brother Oon with the slab! Okay, well, I guess we gotta do that. So, um, I'm gonna rest up at the inn and uh, make it back to my airship, so I will meet you there. Okay, let's head to uh, Melman to visit the good Dr. Oon. So he should be pretty much straight south, really. A uh, little east. There we are. Dr. Oon must be like the Sid for this game. I mean, there's no Sid reference in this game that didn't start until FF Final Fantasy II. So, a slab. This slab will lead us to solve the riddle of the Lafinish. Now listen to me. Okay, well, we know the language of the Lafinish, so now we can, uh, well, understand them. So, let's keep moving here. They actually made a reference to Sid in, like, Dawn of Souls or one of the remakes or something, but, uh, you know, that doesn't count. This version doesn't have any reference to Sid at all. It didn't start until Final Fantasy II, so, um, so to find a reference point, let's get to Gaia. Yeah, that would be northeast. Well, there's a Mirage Tower, just for future reference. Okay, now this is where we actually heard someone talk about the Lafinish to the south. But uh, as long as we're here, uh, I want to get some uh, new spells, because I got the gold. Why not? Let's see, I want to get Ice 3. And I also want to get uh, the Fade spell. Now, we don't have the spell charges for them yet, so... You can guess what that means. It's time for more level grinding. Yes! That's actually not that bad. It's probably like 30, 45 minutes. Uh, I would level grind up to level 26. That way you'll have all the spell charges that you'll need. And really, that should most likely take care of you for the rest of the game, I think. So, let's get that. Alright. So, uh, I'm going to go to the Gurgu Volcano to uh, take care of that once again. And, um, yeah, I'll just show you uh, Lafayne one more time, just to uh, make sure we all know where it is. I got a minute left, I guess. So, yeah, what you got to do, you, when we go to Lafayne next, we want to park here. I'm going to meet you here at the beginning of the next video. Then you got to walk all the way down here, get some fairly tough enemies, and make it to this town. So, that's where we're going to go next. So, um... 
I'm out of time, so uh, that's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.